Okay, so let's start by changing the colors on the website. So in Framer, there are a few different ways you can change colors. Uh, the first that I would do for any website template is to go here in the top left to Assets. And then when you scroll down, you can see there is a color style. Under here, you have all of what are called your global styles. And so this is the color that's reused multiple times across the site. And so each time you change the color in the global styles, that will change it wherever it's used around the rest of the website. So for instance, if the primary color here is this orange color and we wanna make it something like blue, we can take this slider, drag it all the way to blue, and you can see it's already updating around the entire website. So when we scroll down, we can see this is now blue, all of the stars, the buttons, the borders, anywhere that the primary color blue has been used, it gets updated to that new color. Cool, so that's a global style. If you wanna change any of these neutrals, you can do that as well. Uh, for the most part though, these are gonna be the right value or darker lightness measurement that you want to use for here so keep that the same if you want to change the details so like a specific color detail like the border of this image it does use an orange color like the primary color but if we want to change that we can use this color instead and this is where on the properties or details panel you can find that so colors can be used here in the image as well if you select this section, the fill is a neutral darker color. We might change that to a lighter neutral dark or white. Probably don't want to do that because we have the text that's bright white. So let's just stick to one of these. And that way you can adjust the finer details. Now you can see here that there's not a color option when I click on this button. That's because the button is a component. Components you can find also in the assets panel. And the reason is that these are also used around the rest of the website multiple times. And so to change the styles for these, you'll click on the asset on the left, or if we're on the web, double clicking on it will take you to where that component is created. And you can see the different variations of the component. Click on that, scroll down, and now you can see the color in use. Let's go ahead and just make this the primary color. And then we can see the hover state has an orange glow underneath it. So let's go ahead and change that to the blue color. All right, any changes you make to the primary component, you can see that there, will pass down to the lower ones. The only thing that's different are the properties that you change or the details that you change on lower values. So for instance, this one is now white instead of blue. And this one has no fill at all. So it's transparent. So now the website, we should see a large number of changes with only a few clicks, which is amazing. If you wanna to navigate to other pages to make sure that the changes are being made correctly, you click in the top left here under pages and this is where you can navigate around the website so here we are you can see the background here is still orange so we'll want to change that again under the property details over here we can see the fill and there's a background image that's already being uploaded here so we'll go to images in a second if this was a gradient fill we would change that as a color but we'll do that in a second and then we've got the article here. Links are updated. You can see this link is highlighted blue. It also falls under the text styles as well, under links. These colors can be updated the same way as far as using the global styles or in the details of how these text links are being colored. So if you see text links are changing, or are a different color than what you had expected, that's probably why. You'd wanna go in there and adjust the links. If you find a link on a page, you can adjust it on the right side as well for the properties there. For instance, if we go to a component like the navigation bar, click on here, you can see that the nav link 
is the selected style and you can edit those styles over here the same way you did under the assets. Okay, so now that an idea of how to change the colors globally and where you might find subtle, more refined details like on the properties panel or in the other assets, we're gonna go through how to change all of the typography styles. So what the text looks like, 